It has been seven minutes and 25 seconds since our bro, the brave, took the one-man mission. I have never fixed a panel before. Can anyone tell me if it's normal to take this long? From my experience in human society, it is not too long. If the device has been drastically destroyed, or the maintenance man is not familiar with that model, it will take longer time to fix. This is not unusual. We need to go outside to find him. We are not in the human society. Aside from the butcher, he might confront some other troubles. Zanetto, you stay here with Miss Two Fairy. I will go find Jason with Horopedia. No matter if we find him or not, we'll come back in five minutes. What if you don't? Then it means we are not in the kind of horror movie where misfortune only happens to lone wolves. If we don't come back, please evacuate the whole campsite and contact rescue. Jason? Yeah, it's Jason! He fixed the lights! man. Firstly, Lone Wolf disappears. Next, it will be the people who failed to escape. Now we must stick together. At least the rain was the origin of all these weird things. You shouldn't have walked into it. I remember the weather forecast said there won't be any rain in this area today. Like the story of Xeno Youth Force. We are in real danger now. Sino? Sino Armaments Engineering and Technology Academy? You know it? Are there anecdotes about Zeno in the town as well? They used to live here, in this cabin. <laughs> Enough! Stop! Stay away from those weirdos! We're leaving! Michael, we should listen to Ferdinand and her friends and stay... <sighs> if... if Rod can be fake, this whole campsite can also be an entire illusion! You guys look normal, just like... like any ordinary people whom we would possibly run into in a place like this! But then, you will infiltrate! Please calm down. We've only been trying to help. <laughs> I won't be deceived anymore! I will shoot you! Stay away from me! Jason is right! Arcanists are all insane! <laughs> I won't let you get into my car! You guys, stay here and wait for the butcher to get you!
like this. Hurry up. This is not good. It's too dark out here. Hardly visible. Michael must have driven out of here. But how did Blonnie disappear in the blink of an eye? To the south. The skid marks and footprints all point to the south. Here are the claw marks of the critter. They might be in danger. We need to hurry up. Over here! I found her! Two-Ferrin Horopedia, please follow them. Sonetta and I will handle this. Be careful. This creature is very malicious. Use this if needed. Rain has healed its wounds. It's getting stronger and harder to deal with. May the peace be with us. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Stop me up! Swallow my exhaust! Right wind! Left hand up! Now right hand up! Are you ready Who's to be blinded? 
They're just little games. Are you ready to shake? Woohoo! Release! If only I could be as forgetful as them. I think it is... Hmm? Watch out! Mm. Don't touch my bag! 
snares. Are you ready to be blinded? Relax. Breathe. Are you ready to shake? Woohoo! Release! Ha! <laughs> Red 38 is about to return. Just given you first aid for the wounds. For now, we will have to wait for Miss Tooth Fairy to administrate a thorough treatment when she comes back. Don't worry, she's very professional and skillful. You won't feel any pain in the process. Am I. am I in the cabin? Then I'm not dead! Good! I'm not dead! <sighs> you are safe. The critter is gone. Don't worry. Follow me. Take a deep breath. Hold my hand. Another deep breath. <sighs> Do you feel better now? Thank you. I feel much better now. Where is she? Did she get hurt? We didn't find her in the woods. Wasn't she in Michael's car? No, she wasn't. She jumped off. She saw me being attacked by the critter and jumped out from the side window. Oh no. The butcher, he must have taken in, must be with him. I, I saw him too. He was walking towards her. Just like what would happen in a horror movie. It's okay. Here, take my hand. We know where she is now. This is good. We will get her back safe and sound. Okay. I... I understand. Tooth Fairy, you're back. Where is Michael? They have gone. We are not able to catch up and intercept the car. It crashed on the... the edge of the woods in front of us. Crashed on the edge of the woods? What do you mean? I don't know either. The car was about to rush out of the woods, and then we heard a huge crushing sound. The front section was squeezed together, and the rear wheels were lifted in the air. And there was an explosion. Looks like the car was crashing into an invisible wall. 
It happened right in front of us, too quick and too astonishing. We got to the car. The fire caused by the explosion was being extinguished by the rain. We found no one but this key. Is it yours, Bonnie? No, never seen it before. I always have some decorations or a doll attached to the keychain. This one is rusty and too plain. It smells weird too, like dirt. Anything special? No, neither mark nor labels. We didn't find anything to match it in the car. First the lone wolf, then the people who failed to escape. Things are getting too complicated, but there's one thing that I am certain of. We are now caught in a dangerously and classically plotted horror movie. That means Anne jumped off the car in order to save Blonnie from the critter's attack. Then she got lost. According to Blonnie, the last thing she saw was the approaching butcher from the woods. She's in great danger. We must act swiftly to save her. Also, we need to turn this cabin into a security base for the upcoming battles. Horopedia and I will rescue Anne. He's a horror movie expert and it will be of great help. In the meantime, you and Sonetto stay here to take care of Blonnie and to secure this room. I will take good care of her. Please bear with me for a minute. The wounds caused by critters are prone to tetanus. I need to thoroughly sterilize them. How about some painkillers? Give me some! I'm very sorry. I don't have any with me. You... didn't you say your treatment wouldn't be painful? I'm terribly sorry for what you're going through, but... This is not the typical kind of treatment that we used to receive from her. How did she do it then? She would... She would ask us to take the tooth fairies. That is, those golden elves in the glass jar. They're effective in treating toothache and other oral diseases, but also can be used to reduce inflammation, stimulate wound healing, and relieve headaches. Take... you mean to eat... this? Uh, yes. And it actually tastes pretty nice, like mint and flavored dried plum. It... it just looks a bit unconventional. You would go as far as to eat this shi- Please, stretch your legs. I need to sterilize the inner thighs. <sighs> uh, uh, ow! <sighs> okay, fine! I will take that! Bring me the little elflings! Sorry, Blunny. You can't eat tooth fairies as a treatment. Why can't I? Of course I can! I will just put it in my mouth and swallow it with my eyes closed! This is not about you. It is my own rule of treatment. I have specific treatments for humans and arcanists correspondingly. Through our contact so far, I got to know that you don't consider yourself as an arcanist, and that's why I will not treat you as one. Are you upset about what I said? I... I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have been rude to Arcanists in front of you. I know it hurt your feelings. I was not myself. I chose to live amongst humans, chose to be their friends, to be a different Arcanist. 
I thought in this way I would be taken in as one of them. But as you see, when things come to a critical moment, they run away without me. It was my car that they drove to escape, and yet they called me a freak and left me here to die. <sighs> Funny, isn't it? Sad story. I feel sorry for you. But still, you can't take the tooth fairies. Is this a punishment for what I have done? I can't feed you the tooth fairies only because you still think you are a human. You don't recognize the behavior of your human classmates, but still want to be on this side and be one of them. Okay. The wounds are packed. Already? I, I didn't feel a thing. I've applied Carbuncle Growth Promoter. It will paralyze, sedate, and accelerate your cell regeneration. Your wounds will close up in 30 minutes. Isn't that a medicine for Arcanists? It is a prescription approved by the medicine examination supervised by Campbell. In this case, it doesn't violate my rule. You could have applied this earlier and spared me the pain. I don't rely on painkillers. I am an excellent doctor. Minimizing patients' pain is of course my forte. When kids can't suppress their pain, I normally sing for them to ease their pain. But you didn't sing for me! Was it because you didn't want to? Maybe. I confess, what you didn't set at first was really annoying. Arcanists and humans always act as if they were of one merged entity, but we all know how lines have been drawn between their own people and the others. You grew up among humans, and you learned to look away from the truth as they did. Oh. But you do react better to the medicine for Arcanists. Your blood is bringing you a good outcome. Look. In another half an hour, your wounds will be fully recovered. By then, you will be able to jump and run freely, as if you were never hurt. However you feel about your ancestry, it is helping you out. My wounds! A good outcome! Miss Tooth Fairy, please wait. If what Mr. Horopedia has said is true, it's dangerous for us to split up. The three of us should stay together. It will take another 25 minutes for her legs to fully recover. If the situation were to develop based on the rules of horror movies, at this stage, I am safe. Don't worry about me. I see. Have you also done a lot of research about this genre? Mm, not a lot. I just browsed the secret notebook left by Horopedia in the infirmary. I covered him from the instructors to keep his notebook. Since then, we became friends. Keep... keep things from the instructors? Did you do this a lot? Not really. The rules were extremely strict. Except for Horopedia, I only had Virgin as a frequent guest. She pretended that she got a stomachache, lying in bed for half a class. She took many toffees when she left. Timekeeper faked her illness? Ah, and that also explains her toffees. <laughs> you didn't know that. It seems I need to apologize to Virgin for letting out her secret. But thank goodness you are on her side now. Our negligence didn't cause much damage.
The side of the earth turns away from the sun.